Uh, yesterday, on our members, we informed you about uh, the death of the legendary footballer Jimmy Kirunda. And on many occasions, I've met retired sportsmen and sportswomen who won medals and made significant contributions to various sports in Uganda. Many of them brought glory and projected a positive image for this country. Many have been reported to have died in conditions of total misery, bitterness, and poverty. Today's Monitor, a New Vision newspaper, reported the lack of care and the failure to give the late Jimmy Kirunda his entitlements, which have been promised by the President. This is sad, and I think there is need for us to be more caring and appreciate those who bring glory to this country. Many times I have complained on the floor of this House about the stipend to be paid to those who win medals. They, I think the gold medals are supposed to get a certain sum, the silver medal is a certain sum, the bronze a certain sum, but this is not forthcoming. And many have come here and complained and brought the matter to the floor. I do hope that uh, the government will rise up to its responsibilities and give our sports personalities, both retired and living, a better, better life. I now invite the Committee on Education and Sports to take up this issue, uh, work with the National Council of Sports and other bodies like the Federation of Uganda Football Association and come up with appropriate recommendations. In a related manner, our members this afternoon I received a, a phone call from uh, one of the Uganda celebrities, Mr. Eddie Kenzo, who is stuck in Cote d'Ivoire, where he had gone to perform. Uh, he has, he's, he's really in dire straits now because the lockdown found him out of the country. He has spent whatever he could, uh, uh, whatever he had, and is unable to come home because the, the flights are not, uh, not available. So again, I'd want to call upon our, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, working through our mission in Abuja, to offer him consular services so that he can be assisted maybe to come nearer to, to where we have a mission or to be assisted to come home, but also to meet his bills. I will also be informing His Excellency the President about this matter so that uh, he can be assisted. For him, it is even worse because he's in a French-speaking country, so life is not as easy as it would be if we are in an English-speaking country where you can talk to everybody and get assistance. Now, sadly, on our members, yesterday something very interesting happened. An item appeared on the order paper, which I did not remember clearing. And uh, eventually, when I checked with the clerk, she also did not remember clearing it. But that motion is one which I think does not qualify to, to be discussed here. It's a matter under investigation. I don't know how we can discuss a matter which is under investigation without affecting the investigations. But worse still, honour members, one of those who has claimed to have sponsored the motion said he did not sponsor the motion, he was not a seconder, and that the signature on the motion was forged. I have a letter here. So, honour members, if members have reached a situation where they can forge other people's signatures in order to get a motion on the floor, it's terrible. So, honour members, I'm sending this matter to the, the Rules Committee. Uh, it's a motion of resolution of Parliament urging government to adopt the President's directive to CID on Engineer Aid Kawuka Wirike and Engineer John Abuf to the agenda at the electrification agency. I don't know how Parliament can direct the director of CID to complete investigations as they want in this, in this prayer. So, this is the motion, and I, I, I want to send this matter to the Rules Committee so that the movers of the motion can explain how they secured a, a signature of a member who says he was not part of the arrangement and did not sign the motion.